I still got beats on tape that got that name on it before I was Beethoven. You know what I mean? Unreleased beats that people ain't never heard of. You gotta have a cassette tape to play. Then I start putting them on CD. You know what I mean? So now I like, ain't nobody got no CDs no more. But I'm still making 10 beats in a day, so think about that. As an artist, if I'm an artist and I'm trying to make it, what is my everyday job as an artist? Now, I know all the artists want to get in the studio, record, 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 which you got to do that too. You got to have a catalog. If you don't got 150 songs, then you ain't really working. Uh, but nowadays, it's, it's like social media. You got to be able to present yourself. You got to be able to, you know, make somebody want to watch you and hear you and see you. You know what I mean? And that's a job in itself. That's a whole other job that a lot of people don't want to do. It's like, bro, I gotta get in front of the camera, I gotta record myself, I gotta do a video, I gotta, you know, do different things to make people, you know, uh, wanna watch me or intrigue people, but that's hard for a lot of for a lot of people, you know what I mean, nowadays. But that's one of the keys to success. Most of these artists nowadays, if you look, look at their social media, they giving you something to watch all the time. So, you know, that's what keep you in tune with that artist. So if I was an artist, what if I was to tell you, man, I don't, I don't know how to do all of that stuff, Zay Tober. I just like to record. I just like to be in the studio. I like to record. I don't know about all of the business, the marketing, the Instagram, the socials. I just like to record music. What do you say to him? I don't know how successful you're going to be. I can't tell you that you're going to make it if you can't get into that. Nowadays, you have to. That's what's going on. You know, back in the days, you didn't have to do that. We didn't have social media. You didn't have to record yourself and all that. But nowadays, if you're not involved in this stuff right now, I can't really say you're gonna be successful, to be honest with you. Mm. So, yeah, that's, and that's, that's like pulling teeth with a lot of artists. And then like, if I don't wanna do that, I just wanna record. Mm. You know what I mean? But that, it's, it's more to it than that now. Is it a certain sound, a unique situation that you're looking for at FT Records? Is it a certain uniqueness? Is it something that I need to have as an artist? for you to eventually work with me for free or basically sign me to your label? Is it something special, unique that you're looking for? Whatever it is, it has to be authentic. I was just out in the Sprinter and I was listening to one of my man that I was just out there with. Right here, man, right here. Listen, bro, I'm listening to the, I'm, I'm listening to the man music, like, but it's real hard. Like, it's just authentic. It gave me that authentic feel. I swear to God. You know what I mean? Because if you think about the artists I didn't work with, who the artists I didn't came in the game with, like a Gucci, if you look at Gucci, OJ, uh, Migos, Young Dolph, or, you know, Lil Uzi Bird, a lot of these guys I was, you know, or Future, a lot of these guys I was doing their music before they became big artists. And what I saw in them is something that was just authentic. Whatever they are, whatever they do, it's like it ain't nothing else like it. And they true to who they are and what they, you know, what their music sound like. And that's all I be looking for. Mm, mm. You can be a weirdo, you can be a street guy, you can, whatever it is, as long as it's authentic and it goes with how you look, how you carry yourself, you know, the music and, and the character line up, then that's what I'm looking for. That's what's up, that's what's up. Is it, um, do you got a certain artist that you love working with that's very unique to where you feel like, yo, I love working with this artist that's not big, that's not, not uh, of course, give me one that's big, and then give me one that, that we wouldn't know that we had a search for, that Zaytoven really loved because that's gonna give us an opportunity to say, okay, that's where his ear is at. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody that y'all don't know, and it's gonna sound that you feel that's just hard, but it's like, bro, I'm I'm signing him. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. That was my son just calling me right now. And his name is Zay Ski. Okay, right? Zay Ski. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, bro. He impressed me all the time because I'm already as a father. I'm looking at him like, bro, I don't really want you to be rapping. You know what I mean? And then I, I don't want to hear what y'all, I almost don't want to hear what you got to say. And then when I listen to the music, I'm like, dang, bro, he actually hard. Like, I actually ride around and listen to his music. And I sometimes that's hard to do. You know, I got a lot of cousins and and friends that's like, bro, I just, I just can't listen to your music, bro. I just don't like it. You know what I mean? But my son is one guy, so his name is Zayski. I put a project out, out on him early this year in January. And believe it or not, 
his numbers probably done better than a lot of other stuff that came out this year. Wow, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, that's crazy. So Zayski, man, check him out. You know well, I mean, for people that are saying, well, that's biased, that's your son. Is it another artist that you can think of that's not your son, that, that that's not hot, that, that you would probably sign or really rock with? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, I, that you really like. Uh, I'm working really with. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a project with this guy named Santana right now. I don't know if y'all know him, uh, but he's a another little young guy that my son turned me on to. But he got big numbers though. He already, you know, making a okay. lot of noise out there. But I'm doing a project with him is because I like what he do. Okay. I, mean, I love what he do. So. As far as big artists, what? I mean, come on, bro. Every big artist I work with, I love working with. I love working with Gucci. I love working with Future. I love working with Migos. You know what I mean? I, love, I just finished working with Lil Uzi Vert the other day. Uh, you know, I man, it's all the big artists I love working yeah. with, bro. You know what I mean? You just got a chemistry. If you wasn't a producer and you wasn't cutting hair, what would Zaytoven be doing? A church musician. And I'm still a church musician to this day. But that's that was like my job my whole life. I've always been a church musician. I always played the organ on Sundays or played the organ for a funeral or, or a wedding or you know, different things like that, or play with a, a gospel group that's going out to sing. That's how, you know, that was my job ever since I was young. So if I never made it as a producer, if I never started cutting hair, I always would be a church musician because that's what I love to do, for sure. That's what's up. Uh, and then I would think like, last not least, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a couple questions from the people in the front. Um, if, if I don't got a job and I'm an artist, Okay, and I'm really, really passionate about music, say so. Should I stop rapping and worry about paying the bills? Or should I just put it all into the music because this is all I see without a plan B? For me, uh, I would never tell somebody to stop what they're doing just to focus on music. I think you should find a way to balance and do both. You know, if you ask me, because that's the way I was successful. Like, while I was doing music, while I was making beats and everything, I was still here at the barbershop. You know, I had a, a nine to five that I was doing, but after I leave the job, I'm going to make music. And anybody in here, when y'all do music, y'all know y'all doing music because y'all love to do it. You doing it, even if you weren't going to get paid a dollar, like, I'm still going to be rapping, I'm still going to be making beats. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, if, if your passion is that deep for it, you still want to work and make some money because you got to support your dream at the same time. You know, you can't be just broke over here, just got like, bro, I want to do music and I'm going to wait till the music thing blow up. You mess around and, and, and die of starvation. The real is going to be showing because you're like, bro, I can't, now I can't afford to eat, but I want to do music. So I think it's trying to find a balance, you know, and I think that sometimes having a job or working sometimes, that, that kind of help help you be stable you know and, and what you're doing when that music comes because it's even when you make it in music it's going to be challenges it's going to be you know rainy days it's going to be when you ain't hot when you you know hot as you was or whatever so sometimes that's you know it's like paying your dues or or, or, or grinding before it's time for you to blow up you know, so. um i'm an artist i'm in a rural city there's no opportunities in the city outside of one or two people how do I get on? I'm an artist. Give me from an artist perspective, if that was you in 2023, if you was an artist from a rural area and you don't know which ways to get on, how am I gonna get on? Tell me from an artist perspective and tell me from a producer perspective, what would be my strategy? Social media is the, is the biggest thing going on right now. And I feel like that's the cheat code for people if you really know how to manipulate it and use it. You know what I mean? If I'm somewhere living in Kyra playing Mississippi, you know what I mean? I still, if I got talent and I'm creative enough, I can sit here and go to my social media and try to make people do what I gotta do to make people pay me some attention. You know what I mean? And that's what's going on. You know what I mean? You don't have to live in Atlanta, Georgia, or, or Los Angeles, California no more. Cause you got your, your cell phone right here in your hand. So if you got social media, man, it's all about working at social media, bro, now. and. Uh, and, and that way you can catch somebody's attention. You might catch a Zaytoven somebody's attention just off you doing some creative and unique on your social media. You know what I mean? So you don't have to be in no popping city no more. Mm -hmm. Social media is the key to, you know, to, to moving, advancing in your career now, I feel like. We appreciate that.